Hello, this is Stella from Starlight Crafts and I'm here with my latest journal which is a teddy bear journal and I've made it with one of Mrs Cog's lovely kits. This is one of my favourite kits of hers. I haven't bought that many but I would like to. I try and mix the kits with things that I've made myself and no two journals are exactly alike. But this one I've made before several times and this is the latest version. So I've gone with a kind of orangey theme this time and the picture which came with the kit which is just drawable. The girl has red hair and so I thought that was a good idea to keep with that kind of red look. The journal measures 9 by 6 inches and it has a hard cover. This is the dangle. No beads on it as yet. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. <laughs> they do get in the way and because the journal was rather thick I didn't have a grommet that was deep enough to put in there so I've used one of these jump rings that you can open so it can come off. This adorable picture comes in the kit with lots of the other pictures that you'll see inside and I've mounted it on the front with some hessian underneath and a friendship banner on the front. The corners I have added is a metal to protect the corners of the cover which is made from two old placemats so they really are really hard and, and substantial. Inside the cover I've got some very pretty lace on the first pocket and the first of several postcards that I bought from eBay. These are vintage postcards and I think they're very pretty. I like the old style bears. Well, in fact, I like all bears, teddy bears. We don't have real bears here in England anymore. Here's the first page. A lot of these pictures here I've made into tuck spots, but this one not. And the quotes that Mrs. Cox gives are adorable. Teddy bears don't need hearts as they are already stuffed with love. The lace I have from a um, beautiful haberdashery shop that we had in my hometown, which is now closed, sadly. So I won't be getting any more of that from that source. But it is a machine made lace. It's not the plasticized lace that I've seen on uh, many journals. I've not seen that here. I expect it's about somewhere. I keep looking. If you pause the video on any of these quotes that you want to read, you'll have plenty of time to read them, so I won't stop at all of them. I might stop at a few. This is a page from a Rupert Bear book. I'm a collector of Rupert Bear annuals. This is not one of the annuals, this is one of the older style books. The paper is very old and naturally has gone uh, this beigey colour and this story is Rupert and the Wonderful Boots which was written by Mary Tortell who was the original Rupert Bear author and illustrator. It's one of the tags that comes with the kit. So he's just poking out there he is. Cute. <laughs> Adorable.
the paper I've bought from Amazon, my printer has decided it doesn't like printing on the tea dyed paper anymore. I do use a rather um, thicker paper. It's thicker than ordinary printer paper when I tea dye it. That makes it more resilient. But at the same time, it gives it a bit of a crinkly edge and the printer has stopped pulling it through. It chews it up. So I've gone over to this paper that looks aged but isn't, which I can buy from Amazon. The tag at the top is a beige needle cord. I've used that for quite a few things. I've got a skirt made out of that. And these are the off cuts. One of the little tags. And this page is from uh, Mrs. Cog's latest kit. She started doing junk journal kit pages. And this one's come out a little bit darker than hers because it's printed on this paper that I just told you about. But I don't think that spoils it. I think it goes very well. And you can write on top of that, you see. There's a nice card that one of my pen pals sent me. And I've used one of the other pages to make an envelope. Inside the envelope is uh, a sheet that you can decoupage. You cut out the shapes. You stick one on top of the other with those little felt pads and then you get 3D effect. So I've left that to be done by whoever gets the journal. And you can have fun making that yourself. I made a few clusters. When I get lots and lots of little bits and pieces I usually assemble them and have a purge on making a load of them. So this is one that I took out of the box to use in here. Take there go fishing. Um, this page here has a journaling card. And another little tag. And I've made this pocket with a pretty edge using a cutter that does edging. Once I cut the edge on the pocket, I then paint it over it with Mod Podge to stiffen it a bit so it didn't break every time I put something in and out. At sales, every other toy looks simply worn, dilapidated and grubby. A bear looks lost and abandoned and desperately in need of a loving home. This is pattern paper, which can be used to make a small teddy bear. And here are two charms. I put on the strings. Look at that adorable, really beautiful picture. This is just a post it note. tag and teddy bear admiring his shadow in the wall. I think it's supposed to go that way. And here's another one of the decoupage sheets and another little homemade cluster. quite a bit of stenciling 
which I think looks very nice on this paper. I do like this paper. It's uh, available in different shades. There's one that's lighter and more reddish looking. Another one of those lovely postcards. And another envelope that I've made using that gorgeous picture. And inside, powered by imagination. Nothing like it when a child goes dropping off to sleep after they've had a story read, is there? There she is again. There's some graph paper. A couple more of these little charms. This one's got I think it's a bee and a teddy. Two little mice. with the pretty pocket edging. And there's two journaling cards in here. There's Teddy asleep in the flower border. I have to confess to having quite a few teddy bears. I might even show you two of them when we get to the end of this journal. Here is another beautiful postcard. And they're all pristine on the back. This is homemade. Another heart shaped one. This is just tracing paper. Ted is studying a dictionary. And three Ted is sunbathing in the garden. I think in that picture somebody is about to go on holiday. They're going to take the teddy. But the little dog says, please, can I come too? Charms. In a world gone bad, a bear, even a bear standing on his head, is a comforting, uncomplicated, dependable hunk of sanity. Saturday's card. There's one for each day of the week. Oh, here's one of Tim Holtz's little coin charms, and that one says 
What lies before us and what lies behind us are small matters compared to what lies within us. Sunday, going to church, teddy bears, postcard on the back. And now I'm going to show you my two latest teddy bears. So, when I was on holiday recently, I saw these little bears in a teddy bear shop in Norwich. And I had to have them. <laughs> now I've got a special birthday coming up and uh, this is going to be my present. So there were two on the top of the pile, a brown one and a black one. And of course, I couldn't choose one without the other. So I've had them both. This one is number 26 and this one is number 427 out of a thousand. So it came in a beautiful box that I'll show you in a minute. There they are, They're jointed. And there it says the bear shop and the address, online address. He's got a beautiful red bow tie and a little chubby tummy and his own certificate. Isn't he just adorable? Okay. Here's the little black one. This is his friend. And he is just the same and just as adorable. They're Hermann bears made in Germany. Um, famous for making beautiful bears. Here it says Hermann bears. At first I thought they were stiff, but they're not. But look at his little face. So... The bears do not come with the journal. <laughs> Sorry, ladies, but the bears are for sale in the teddy bear shop if you wanted to order from there. And this is how they came in this absolutely wonderful box where they are going to stay for the time being. So, I hope you like my little bears and I hope you like my teddy bear journal which will be going up for sale when I get round to putting it in the Etsy shop. So thank you for watching and hope to speak to you again soon.